in this video tutorial, we will solve pre-algebra test example that you can face in United States educational system. Uh, let's begin with evaluation of expression. 9 uh, plus and minus 4 in brackets. First of all, here we have to note that um, this plus with minus 4 inside brackets, brackets will give us 9 minus 4 because plus times minus gives us minus, which is 5. Uh, here we have 5 minus 9 gives us minus 4 plus 2, which is minus 2. Or in other words, minus 4 can be written as minus 2 and minus 2. And here, plus 2 and minus 2 will uh, offset each other and we will have minus 2. Next, here, uh, we have to solve what is inside brackets. 9 minus 7 will give us 2. So we will have minus 6 plus 3 times 2. Uh, here, we have order of operation um, problem. And first of all, we have to solve what is here, because multiplication is done before addition and subtraction. Plus 3 times 2 will give us plus 6, and that's why minus 6 plus 6 will give us a 0. Next, uh, here we have again order of operation problem. And here, first is done what is inside brackets. Inside brackets, we have 1 plus 3, which give us 4, and that's why we have minus 8 divided by 4 minus 1. Next here, of course, we have to perform first multiplication and division, which is done before addition and subtraction. And minus 8 divided by 4 uh, gives us minus 2, and that's why minus 2 min minus 1 will be minus 3. Next uh, here, of course, we have to calculate first uh, this part of our expression. 2 times 6 squared is uh, the same as 6 times 6. And 2 times 6 times 6 will give us 72. And that's why we have minus 7 plus 72 minus 8. And uh, here we have, we can uh, for example, write that minus 7 and minus 8 will be minus 15 plus 72. Minus 15 plus 72 can be written as, let's rewrite minus 15, and 72 can be written as 70 plus 2. And 70 is 15 plus 55 plus 2. And that's why we will have minus 15 plus 15 will offset each other. And we will have 57 since 55 plus 2 is 57. Next, we have to simplify fraction. Uh, how to simplify this fraction? Actually, this is quite easy. Uh, we can divide numerator and denominator of our fraction by the same number. And obviously, this is 5. And if we divide 10 by 5, we will have 2. And 25 divided by 5 will give us 5. So 2 over 5 is simplified form of fraction 10 over 25. Next, convert the mixed number to a fraction. And this uh, number is called mixed number because we have uh, an integer part and a fractional part. And by definition, this number is equal to 3 plus 1 over 4. And uh, 3 is by definition is can be written as 3 over 1 and let's rewrite 1 over 4. Uh, we have the problem of addition of two fractions. Uh, next, uh, to add these two fractions, we will we have to uh, write in uh, denominator common multiple of 1 and 4, which is 4. And that's why here 3 must be multiplied by 4 and we will have 3 times 4, which is 12 plus 1. And uh, 12 plus 1 will give us 13, 13 over 4. And this is a uh, fraction after we converted our mixed number, this number. That's all. Uh, next, uh, find the sum of minus 15 and 10. Easily done. Uh, minus 15 plus 10 
is minus 5 because minus 15 can be written as minus 5 minus 10. Minus 5 and minus 10 is minus 15 and plus 10. Here, minus 10 and plus 10 will give us 0 and answer will be minus 5. Find the difference between 28 and minus 12. Easily done. Uh, 28 minus minus 12. This is the difference between 28 and minus 12. Uh, actually, by definition, uh, this can be written as 28 minus 1 times minus 12. You see? And that's why it is uh, equivalent to minus 1 times minus 12 minus times what minus will give us plus. So it will be 28 plus 12, which is 40. Next, uh, evaluate this sum of the two fractions. Since we have the same uh, denominators of our fractions, we can just uh, write 1 plus 5 in numerator, and it will be 6 over 3, and 6 over 3 is the same as 6 divided by 3, which is 2. Next, evaluate this. Uh, to ev evaluate this, we have to find common multiple of these three numbers. The common multiple of 5, 3, and 2 will be what? Uh, it will be 5 times, uh, actually, 3 is 15, and 15 times 2 is 30. Because uh, 5, 3, and 2 are prime numbers, and um, if you have uh, such problems and you have to find common multiple of, for example, three prime numbers, you have to multiply these numbers, and common multiple will be 30. And here, since 30 divided by 5 is 6, we have to multiply 4 by 6. And uh, here, since 30 divided by 3 is 10, we have to multiply 2 by 10. And here, since 30 divided by 2 is 15, we have to multiply 1 by 15. And we will have 3, sorry, 4 times 6, 24, plus 2 times 10, 20, minus 1 times 15, 15. It will be 24. And plus 12 minus 15 will give us plus 5. Plus 5 divided by 30. And 24 plus 5 will give us 29. So answer will be 29 over 30. Next, evaluate this fraction. Um, common multiple of two numbers, 4 and 8 is 8. And here we have to multiply 3 by 2 because uh, this number 4, if we divide 8, by 4, it will be 2. And here, 5 is multiplied by 1. So, 3 times 2 is 6. 6 minus 5 will give us 6 minus 5, 1. 1 over 8. It will be an answer. Next, evaluate uh, this expression. Uh, actually, by definition here, we have a multiplication. That's why if we perform multiplication of minus 2 over 5, because this is by definition minus 2 over 5 times 15 or over 4. Uh, here we have to um, perform some uh, cancelling, uh, or by definition we can we can write it as minus two times fifteen over five times four, and since uh, this number fifteen is five times three, we can write fifteen as five times three. And uh, 5 times this 4 can be written as 2 times 2. Next, we perform cancellation of this 5 and this 5, and this 2 and this 2. And answer will be minus 3 over 2. Uh, next, minus 3 over 2 is minus, minus 1 and 5. Uh, next, here... Uh, along the same way, we can write 4 over 5 times, sorry, since here we have division, uh, we have to uh, transform this division into multiplication, but change the places of numerator and denominator. And it will be um, minus 25 over 8. And let's rewrite it. 4 over 5 times minus 25 over 8. 8 
<clears throat> number eight can be written as uh, number eight can be written as four times two, and this minus twenty five can be written as minus five times five. Now we perform a cancellation. This four and this four is cancelled out. This five and this five is cancelled out, and all in all we have minus five minus five over two, and minus five over two is minus two and a half minus two and a half. Uh, next, evaluate this. Uh, to evaluate absolute value of minus five, this is by definition is five, because absolute value of a positive number is the same number, and absolute value of negative number is minus of this number, by definition. That's why absolute value of minus five is five, and we have five plus two, which is seven. Evaluate minus six squared. Here, can, this can be written as minus, minus, and six squared. Six squared is the same as six times six, which is 36, and answer will be minus 36. Uh, but this example, uh, in this example, minus six, and all this minus six is squared means minus six times minus six. Minus six times minus six, which is minus times minus gives plus, it will be 36. So an answer will be 36 again. Sorry, not again, but here we have actually plus 36, but we do not write plus. Uh, here we had minus 36. Next example, <coughs> evaluate 8 over 0. Um, you have to remember that we do not have a right. This is not correct. This is not defined. Uh, division by 0 is um, is something in mathematics we uh, always have to remember of, and that's why uh, this is not defined operation. And uh, if you have something divided by zero, always write that uh, this is not defined operation. Uh, next, evaluate zero divided by minus three. Anything divided, zero divided by anything is equal to zero. Next, evaluate. Um, we have to transform this division into multiplication and uh, it will be minus 5 times 10 over 3 will uh, transform into 3 over 10. And now um, this our number 10 can be written as 5, 5 over 2, uh, or, sorry 5 times 2. And we can write this as uh, minus 5 over 1 times 3 over 5 times 2. Next, we perform a cancellation of this of this 5 and this 5. And answer will be minus 3 over 2, which is minus 1 and half, which is minus 1 and 5. Uh, next, we evaluate this expression. Um, first, in this kind of problems, first of all, we have to solve everything inside inner brackets. Uh, first we look in these brackets, but inside these brackets we have these brackets, but inside these brackets we have these brackets. That's why these inner brackets must be calculated uh, first. So 5 minus 4 is 1, and if we rewrite, um, we will have minus 2, um, sorry, minus 2. Here we have 3 squared minus 1. Next, we calculate what is inside the next inner brackets. Um, here, it will be 3 squared is 9. 9 minus 1 is 8. And it will be transformed into minus 2 times 8. And it will be minus. Minus 2 times 8 is minus 16. And minus minus 16 will give us 16. Uh, next, evaluate, uh, leave the answer in lowest terms. Okay, let's do it. Uh, first of all, here, we write it as minus 4 over 3. 5 is prime number and cannot be represented as uh, a multiplication of two numbers. This is 5. 12 can be written as 4 times 3. And 9 can be written as 3 times 3. 10 can be written as 5 times 2. 
Next, we perform cancellation. This four and this four can be canceled out. This three and this three can be canceled out. And this five and this five can be canceled out. And as a result, we have, we have minus, this minus, and this three gives us minus three over this three times this two give us six. So this is minus three over six. Next, we can divide both sides sides of this fraction by 3, it will be minus 1 over 2. Minus 1 over 2 is minus 0 0.5. So answer can be this or this. Or fractions, fraction in lower terms, this is minus 1 over 2. So this is a uh, correct answer. Next, simplify, simplify this expression. <coughs> x x to the power 6 divided by x to the power 4. This is x squared, actually, but we can write it as x to the power 6 can be written as x to the power 4 times x to the power 2, because when we multiply, um, exponents are added, and that's why if we divide by x, x to the power 4, we have cancellation of these two x to the power 4s, and the answer will be x squared. Write 16% in decimal form. 1% in decimal form is 1 over 100 and uh, as a fraction. And 1 over 100, if you use calculator, will be 1 uh, decimal point zero 01. That's why 16%, 16% x is 16 times more than this number. You can perform multiplication and it will be 0 0.1 and 6. This is an answer. What is 18% of 250? Uh, it can be easily calculated because 10% 10 10 of 250 is one tenth of this number. This is 25. That's why 18%, 80% is eight times bigger than 25. And this is 25 times eight which gives us 200. Next, uh, solve this equation for x. Uh, this equation can be written as, uh, we can multiply both sides of this equation by number 24, because this is, uh, 24 is common multiple of 24 and eight, and answer will be x equal to, let's do it, 24, times x over 24 is equal to 24 times 3 over 8. We have cancellation of these two 24s and this 8 is cancelled and uh, instead of this 24 we have 3. So answer will be x equal to 3 times 3, x is equal to 9. Along the same way, uh, next problem is solved, uh, but we can use another um, Sorry, first of all, we have to say that this x, because we cannot divide by zero, uh, this x is not equal to zero, because we cannot divide by zero. Next, uh, we multiply this five by this x, it will be five x, which is equal to, and multiply this eight by 20, it will be 160. So next, we divide both sides of this equation by five. Five x divided by five is, is 32 and 32 is answer next solve this linear equation for x uh, this is easily done we just have to uh, subtract both sides of this equation uh, by minus 3 and it will be x here because plus 3 uh, minus 3 is 0 and here we will have 7 so s x is equal to 7 next solve this equation for x easily done we just multiply both sides of this equation by 2 and answer will be x is equal to 10. Uh, and the last question, simplify this expression. Uh, here, since we have 3x um, plus 5x minus 2x, we can uh, we can perform addition and subtraction of these three uh, monomials and 
uh, if we had, for example, 3x minus 5x minus 2y, we could perform addition of these two elements and it will give us 8x minus 2y. But here we do not have y, we have also x. That's why we can add and subtract these three elements. So 3x minus 5x is 8x and 8x minus 2x is 6x.